So a small problem, I have no idea what's going on. I just want a pair of knitting needles where you can like take off the thing and put on the thing again. How hard is that to do? Like they say they've got glide on technology, but what does that mean? You're so close, just be straight. Okay, so I have my yarn, I have my needles. I'm not sure if these are the right size needle. Hello? I'm not sure if these are the right size needle. They look a little bit fine for the yarn that I'm using, but this says that a nine to 10 millimeter knitting needle would be okay. Wait, so this is currently the only pair of circular needles that I have, and apparently they are way too small for the yarn that I have. Yeah, I mean, duh, they're way too small. Like, look at that. So, I'm gonna say 72 stitches, maybe 75, because the gauge of our needles is so fine. I've also never worked with circular knitting needles before, um, and I see no way in which this can go wrong, quite honestly. 65. 66, 67, and 75. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. The color is in the process of being changed as we're going to the next row. Uh, 59 level with the so, status update. I have finished the ribbing waist part of the shorts, I think. And this does look very small and I'm skeptical about it, but I'm just trying to remind myself it does stretch. We do want it to be a little bit tight. So I did ribbing for that section and I'm gonna go on to just a straight up knit stitch for the rest of the sections. I will, however, be doing a purl stitch on all of the stripes with different colors. The lady that actually sold me the yarn suggested that to me, and now I'm really excited to try it out. I am going to turn on my bestie Doc Brandon's Stardew Valley stream. Go check that out below and see how many rows of this I can complete. Okay, so y'all, I have some good news. It's a beautiful day today. So I've got the door open. I might knit a little bit outside, but I think I'm done with like the whole waist bit. Not gonna lie, I don't know why I hated on knitting so much because this has been such an enjoyable project so far. It worked up really fast. It feels really intuitive. I don't know, like it's just good. So hopefully I'm gonna finish up both the legs today and then I will have a functioning pair of shorts. I have pretty much finished the shorts. I have stitched together the uh, crotch area. The thing is, I still have significantly more yarn left, which means I can make the legs of my shorts longer, which is great because the legs of my shorts were a little bit short, so now I can just make them a little bit longer so that they're a little bit more comfortable. So I'm going to add on six more rows to each leg and see how it looks. shorts i did it round of applause i love this pair of shorts i think that they turned out fantastic they are soft they're comfy and they were super fun and easy to make i will say that my one qualm with them is what i was fearing about knitted and crocheted pants and that is all of the holes in the knitting and when it stretches you can really see the holes so i will definitely be sticking with the beige undergarments whenever I wear these shorts. Now comes the real question. Do I think... Hang on, my plant is sad. <gasps> Yay, there we go. Okay, you're not sad anymore. Now comes the real question. How was knitting compared to crocheting? And I hate to admit it, but I think that knitting 
kind of takes the win here. I don't know if it was actually easier or if I was just working with a thicker gauge yarn than I was used to and therefore it worked up faster, but I found knitting surprisingly easy once I got the hang of it. So that was the pro of knitting, but one con that I did notice with knitting is that it was a lot harder to undo your work. Because with knitting, in order to undo your work, you have to actually take all of the stitches off of the needle and unravel it and then put the stitches back onto the needle. Whereas with crocheting, each stitch was independent of the needle, so you could take out as many stitches as you wanted and you didn't have to worry about putting like 70 stitches back onto your hook. Another thing that I found annoying about knitting is the lack of versatility in knitting. With knitting, you have two types of stitches. You've got knits, you've got purls, and that is it. Whereas with crocheting, you have slip stitches and single crochet, half double crochet, half, half full, what am I saying? Whereas with crocheting, you have various different lengths of stitches, ranging from slip stitches all the way through triple crochet stitches. And that allows for the ability to make a lot more versatile pieces, like cute little flowers, or that's really all of the versatile pieces that I've made in crochet, but it's okay. Ultimately, I think that knitting and crocheting are useful in different situations and depending on what the crafter wants to make. I feel like that's a very indecisive CC-esque conclusion to come to, but it's fine. And will I ever pick up a pair of knitting needles again? Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to like down below, comment with your experience about knitting or crocheting, and subscribe to see more of my lovely face. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!